Yo, what's up, guys? This game versus Lissandra in mid. Um, standard runes. I mean, the only thing to note is that I didn't run unflinching secondary. Oh, this guy's autofill, I think. First blood. But yeah, normally you'd want to run unflinching second into Lissandra. I would say always go conquer, though, into her. Just because, uh, not necessarily because Conquer is going to be the best rune into her. It's more so for the, the path that you have in the tree itself. You can go Tenacity and then you can just go Resolve second, get double Tenacity. That way you don't have to build Merc Shreds and you can still go for like a, a Magic Pen build or something like that. Just gives you, it keeps your options open, basically. Never play fair. Oh yeah, also, I'm Barrier Ignite this game. Um, I mean, if you guys don't know already, they nerf Teleport, so there's really no reason to take Teleport on Katarina anymore because you can't use it the same way that you did before. So, you can kind of just take whatever you want now. I mean, I've been running Flash a lot, but... I have been experimenting a little bit with other summoner spells. I've been going like Ignite Exhaust, Ignite Barrier, just depending on uh, matchups and the enemy team comps. I won't. I, I was thinking about maybe going Ignite Cleanse this game, but I was like, what's the point? I'm already going to have enough tenacity, I believe, to survive. So yeah, the thing with my runes is uh, this build, I'm going to be going like a tankier Katarina build, right? So we're going to have around like 3k plus HP or more. After we have, uh, after we have our three items, we're gonna go Nasher's Tooth into Rift Maker into Demonic Embrace most likely. Might have to go Zanya's third instead and then Demonic fourth, but that's that's the uh, the plan for this game, build wise. Yeah, like I said, it'll give us around like 3k HP by the time we have all the items purchased. Wow, that's sad. That's fucking tragic. Okay, he's basing. He's probably gonna TP back. I mean, he doesn't have to, but he might. He's auto-filled, so... Yep. I guess there's no reason to actually hold your TP anymore nowadays. Because, I mean, for the first 14 minutes, you can only use it as a, uh, a faster way to get back to lane, which is good for the game. A lot of people ask me that on my stream. I like, my thoughts on the TP change. But even before it happens, and I've always said, like, it's a good change for the game. Very good change. Nice. I guess my entire team's stomping. Jungle's top. We just saw Gromp was up. It's so one. Uh, I, mean, I pinged a lot, but I don't even think he dies. Wow, he almost killed. That's so fucked. All right. Well, yeah, Nasher's rush this game. The standard. I wouldn't say rushing source shoes here is optimal. I think this is just better. Blasting one amp tome gives me 60 AP. My like Camille is just smurfing, I guess. And honestly, I think our team comp's like way better than theirs. That's good damage. I can look for an all in. Oh, we don't talk about that one. Nice. Honestly, I thought his flash would have been down from him going top there. That's worth. It's really good. Uh, I actually don't even need the base here. I knew I didn't have to barrier there because my Seraphine still had W. I almost didn't trust him though. But yeah, so my logic behind bury this game, uh, I mean, I guess you can really, you can take it like any game if you want, but my logic for it is I always hate versing Kindred, right? Because 
when uh Kindred alts, obviously, everyone gets to low usually. You know, if you're 1v1ing the Kindred, for example, even if you're full HP initially, she'll probably bring you down to one health, and then she'll always, uh, she'll always beat you in the 1v1 with her E. She'll just E you and then auto you twice, wait for the alt to finish, and then auto you a third time and just kill you. So I'm just hoping that me going barrier this game will just kind of counter that and allow me to actually beat her 1v1 eventually. I don't know. Just a theory. Hoping it works out. I mean, obviously, we can use it for anything else as well. You're even able to barrier uh, when you're Lissandra ulted, so that could help me. Okay, well, Lissandra has nothing. Just go for a plating here. Shouldn't be committing to this room. Maybe I look to roam top here. Just sweep on my way up. We can look. Wukong's level 5, so I'm pretty sure we just dive him. Put him even further behind. Oh. I mean, I had no way getting out there. That's fine. That's when ever frost. Damn, I might just go for Merc Trust this game. I didn't go for Unflinching. They actually will have a lot of CC for me. Just have to sit back. There's not much of an opportunity for us to kill Lissandra ever. I mean, it's Lissandra. The barrier, guys. The tech. Okay, we just get mid tower here. We get the full tower. So much gold. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy mercs. Why not? And I think I definitely should just go Zonya's uh, third item this game. Get the Rift Maker next, of course, and then Zonya's third. It's a must. Keep in mind, like I said, so we have conditioning and overwrote this game, right? So building HP and resistances is actually very valuable for us because it'll always be increased by our runes. So we're already getting. Uh, 13 armor and 14 MR from our runes, right? Not including the uh, the rune stats, which gives us 8 MR already. We're getting a lot. Keep friends close. And she's going to increase, you know. Even if we get mountain dragons too. I've had a game once where I got like 3 mountain dragons while also having these uh, this, this rune page. It was kind of crazy. I played a Yone game earlier where I had like 3 mountain dragons. I built a Negatron cloak. I built a chain vest. I had like 160 of both resistances. It's really messed up. Ooh, if he gets solo killed here. That would have been really bad. I'm gonna look here. Okay, well that was a really brief ultimate. That's so sad. Lissandra yeah, lived. I'm gonna go around. Okay. Not greeting. Good. No going back. Only 700 away from our Rift Maker. Your team has destroyed Really 
really bad. At least their uh, Lissandra took the kill. If their Kindred got the kill there, we FF. on mid, so I'm safe to keep on taking this. I like. Walk around, try to clear some vision. Oh, I'm here. Okay, got the Rift Maker. I couldn't keep going there, I'll just die. I don't have enough damage to kill the karma at the end. Yeah, we got the Rift Maker. We have 71 armor right now. Gonna buy cloth armor. Now we're at 87. Keep friends close and enemies guessing. Guys, we got 16 armor. When we buy an item that gives us 15. How how messed up is that? I can actually push out this top wave and then come down for dragon. I mean, we don't want to give him this because... I mean, I guess it's only ability haste. I keep thinking that cloud dragon is like the old, uh, the old cloud dragon. Where you get ultimate haste. I was thinking like, their alt are so insane in this game. Each and every one of them. I'm gonna go ahead and push this as well. They're gonna start dragging immediately here. Should be safe. Maybe I can get away with taking this Raptor Camp as well. Try to maximize our resources here. Why? Because I can. Oh. All right. Well, that's that's one way to win the game, I guess. <laughs> Didn't even have to use my barrier there. Okay, full Zonyas. We have 3k gold now. Oh yeah, like I was saying, we want to go Demonic next. Are you build that item again? Guy and Spelts. Yep. Let's just start building this. And it's just, so, okay. Look at our resistances right now. We have 126 armor while having 92 MR. And we don't really have, like, I mean, yeah, we built Merc Treads. We, we bought a 25 MR item and we're getting a total of 44 bonus. That's kind of crazy. And then it's the same thing, right? We have overgrowth too, which actually increases our overall health by 3.5%. So the interaction here is Demonic Embrace gives you AP based on how much health you have. And you get increased health from overgrowth. So they kind of work with each other. Right? As the second one of the game. Uh, 
Uh, getting close to our demonic. And once we have this, we should just be unkillable. I mean, we already have 2.4k health almost. And like I said, once we have this, we're going to have around 3k. I'm down to keep pushing. Let's get this tower, then run. health nice did we end here I have 3,500 gold I think I just don't even go demonic here I just buy the decap because I have enough gold I just wait this is so much better but yeah, you know, if it was a normal game where you don't get double pentakill, uh, then yeah, of course, I would be getting demonic, like, fourth item here. But we just get this. Like, look at our AP. We go from 279 to 549. And that's not even taking into account fully stacked conquer. And fully stacked conquer gives us, what, 60 AP? I can't do math. No, it's 58, right? Yeah. Hold on. Uh, whatever, man. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been up a lot for a long, long time. I've played a lot of games. I, I have a negative win rate in Season 12, so I can't do math currently. Oh we pretty much just doubled our AP by building this item. This item itself gave us just, just like 262. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, we, uh, we just end here. Game's over. Abzana's in 14. Hate this karma. Walk up. And you're dead, bro. Alright, game over. 18 kills. But you can kind of see how this build works. I mean, mathematically, it's okay. Because you're really tanky, right? Like, if I got my Demonic instead of my Rabdons there, I would have around, like, 3,000 health. I should have bonded it just to, like, show you guys. I wonder my Camilla's game. Normally, let's say you go Nashers into Riftmaker into Demonic Embrace with this build. Uh, yeah, you'll already have, like, high 2,000s of HP with that. 30k damage, wow. Uh, yeah, so look, Overgrowth, we did, like I said, we didn't even have our Demonic, and we already got a bonus of 186 max, max HP. Uh, if we did have Demonic, this would say over 200 or something, which is what, the equivalent of, like, a Ruby Crystal. It's like 500 gold value, I would say, 200 health. So that's okay as a rune. You get 16 armor and 13 MR from this. Keep in mind, we didn't have any Mountain Dragons. Sometimes they're going to get Mountain Dragons, it's going to increase it even more. Uh, let's say you don't go Merc Treads, but you'd still get Zanyas, for example. This 45 armor is going to be like worth, it's going to be like 60 armor or something. So you're just very tanky. And the, the general like basis of the build, right? The idea of it, I guess, is you're able to kind of sustain yourself in a fight. And like I said, you don't need to go barrier. You can if you want. It obviously makes you tankier. I mean, you saw that early game play or like, was it early mid? I don't know where we kind of baited the kindred to like flash on us or something because we had the barrier and we just kill her. Like it is, it's really annoying for the enemy team to deal with. Like I said, I've been experimenting with a lot of different uh, summoner spells recently, ever since the TP nerf. You can, go, you can go ignite flash, ignite exhaust, ignite barrier. Anything works as long as you're taking ignite, I would say, because ignite is just kind of, it's a must for Katarina. I mean, you're an assassin. Every assassin wants ignite. You don't want to be an assassin just taking like TP flash because then you don't feel like an assassin, right? Um, but yeah, once again, just show the runes. This game, like I said, it's pr it probably would have been better to go for unflinching here. But just for the sake of the, the build, I wanted to go overgrowth and show you guys the stats. And then we just build Merc Treads to kind of compensate for the lack of tenacity. But yeah, overall, pretty good game. I mean, 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I was trying to be pretty informative. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I apologize for that. Going to get back on the informative games. I'm like more motivated now because of the new season. So yeah, drop a like if you enjoyed. Give me a comment, thoughts on this build. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.